In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to get started using Autogen AI. When you first log in, you'll be taken to the idea tab. Here you can break down your question and build out a response by generating a list of ideas using library AI, creative AI, and internet AI. Tick and untick the boxes depending on where you want your ideas to come from. Start by providing context to your question to guide the idea generation. To ensure you get relevant ideas, include what kind of document it is, information on the sector, and the relevant location. It's best to stick to one question at a time. For example, if I were asked to explain how we will provide user training and how we will ensure successful adoption of our tool, I would start by entering the following into the ideator. How does Autogen AI provide user training? I can add a predefined modifier or write my own to further tailor the idea generation to my needs. It's best to use one word or compound adjectives. For example, client-centered. Clicking the icon will generate a list of ideas. Clicking on the library AI and internet AI tag will show me the source of those ideas. I can then select the idea I like and arrange them in the way I want. Next, I would ask, how does Autogen AI ensure successful adoption of our software? I can follow the same steps in just a few minutes I have an outline for my response. Clicking generate paragraphs expands on the ideas from the source, bringing them directly into the editor. My ideas now act as subheadings for my response. Have you already storyboarded your response and know the main points you would like to cover? You can skip the ideator and head straight into the editor. Here you can simply jot down your thoughts, highlight the text and click expand. Remember, the AI uses the text you highlight as context to guide your content generation, so the more detailed your points, the more specific your response. Options will appear on the right side. The tag in the top right corner will tell you whether a response has been generated using library AI or creative AI. Clicking on the library AI tag will show you the sources of that content. You can use library AI settings to filter which folder you generate text from to generate even more targeted outputs. Bring an output into the editor by clicking on the left arrow or copy and paste sections from different options to build out your response. Lastly, asking a question in Research Assistant will generate a clear and concise paragraph with inline citations from Library AI and Internet AI. Find more information on these sources used by scrolling to the footnotes. You can then click the Copy to Clipboard button and paste the response directly into the editor to further elaborate on the text using other transformations such as Expand, Explain How, Add Statistics, and Add Case Study. There is no one right way to get started. Our tool is designed to work for you to get you off the blank page. We are always available to answer your questions. Get in touch with us at support at